there she is! Damn, her head's so tiny! And look how long her legs are! Mm hmm that is pretty amazing. I wonder what size she is in front. Wow-wee! She's so cute! Her chest is like BAM! While her waist is so slim, she's totally Yosuke's type! Hey, keep it down! Wow, though, that's really her. Seriously, thanks so much for letting us see the real kind of mean. <laughs> I can't bother her while the shoot's going on, but I'll make sure to introduce you all later. You have to be on your best behavior, though. Promise? Yes, yes. I swear on the Juness name that I won't cause a scene. I swear on the Yosuke name that I won't cause a scene either. That makes no sense. Then why are you swearing by me? Rise Kujikawa, what is the meaning of this? Are you on some sightseeing trip with that group of yours? If it's a field trip you're interested in, could you take it elsewhere? Oh crap, it's Miss Ochimizu. Who's this nasty hag? All right, this is Miss Ochimisu. She's the general producer of the festival we're performing in. Dude, are you serious? The general producer of the Love Meets Bonds Festival is Kyoka, the Empress Ochimizu? You know about her, Yosuke? Of course I do! She's always on TV! She's this super scary lady who has no problem making other celebrities cry! I don't get it, but... Sounds like she's sort of important. Ugh. Honestly, we've had enough complications already. I don't need any more cropping up. Perhaps I should demand extra payment from Takara Productions for having to deal with these rude children. The hell'd you say? Whoa, hold it, Kanji, give me a break! Dude, wait, do you hear something? Ah! What is this? Where's it coming from? Huh? Hey, sound techs, what's going on? It's that song we heard yesterday right before we fell into the midnight stage. Senpai, look! Whoa! What is this? Could this be a close encounter of some kind? It doesn't make sense. It's not midnight. What's going on? There's no time for that! Konami's gonna get taken! Konami's what? Miss Ochimizu, please move aside! Excuse us! Wow! My babies are surprisingly bold! Wait! I said wait! Get away from that light! Huh? Risei Senpai? Miss Ochimizu? always tell you not to space out like that. Miss Ochimizu? Listen, if something happens to me, go to Inoue. The festival must... Uh... She got dragged in! What are we gonna do? We follow her. Come on, everyone. Yeah! yeah. Yes. Yes. Whoa! Uh, ah! uh. 
Looks like we made it. Ow! I fell right on my butt! Ah. Well, at least we made it in one piece. That took a while. I was worried I might get separated from everyone and be one lonely bear. You know, I remember something like this happening before. <laughs> that takes me back. C can you guys chat after you get off of me? What the hell are you doing, Yosuke-senpai? What's with that tone? I'm the victim here. All right, no fighting. Huh. Is this the midnight stage? Yeah, but this place looks different from where we were before. Last time, that voice seemed keen on capturing Rise-san. It invited us directly to a prepared stage. Perhaps we're being treated differently this time because we forced our way in. <laughs> what is that voice? It's the master of the midnight stage. And probably the culprit behind this. Didn't I say this place is off limits to unauthorized personnel? Or do you want to connect with us after all? Enough with these games! Who are you? Release Tomoe and the others right now, and Miso Chimizu too! Release them? <laughs> that wouldn't be right. Can't you see they're happier here? Uh, happy? Is it serious? They're locked up here by force. There's no way they're happy about that. Do I see some new faces here? Good. You can connect with us, too. You're not willing to listen, huh? And we'll have to do it the hard way. Do what you want. You'll understand eventually. Atmosphere seems different. Is it gone? Yeah, I think so. I'm just glad we weren't cast out like last time. That aside, I really don't like how this place feels. It looks fun and all, but it totally doesn't feel that way. It's kind of like my world, and I can smell some familiar scents from way off, but it doesn't feel connected to my world. You mean the TV world? Yeah, it might be in the same neighborhood, but I don't think there are any ways to go back and forth. So this midnight stage is a world all its own. By the way, is that the entrance? It branches off in two different paths. Hold on, let me search around. Come, Himiko! Whoa. I know you told us already, but we really can summon our personas here, but we can't use them to fight with, right? We tried, but what the voice said was true. No acts of aggression worked. Whether it was using my persona or Naoto's gun, no one hurts or gets hurt. That must be the rule here. No one gets hurt, huh? That sounds fishy already. It's way too good to be real. Indeed. Also, that voice used bizarre ribbon-like objects it referred to as eternal bonds. They seem to be what kept the shadows bound to this world. When I was caught by one myself, I could clearly tell that it wasn't any true bond, but outright brainwashing. No one should be allowed to force someone to discard their very self just for the sake of another's desires. That's why we need to show them how we feel with our dancing. Hey, I found them! Tamami is through here, and Tamoa is further in the back. I'm sensing Sumomo and Nozomi down the other path. Guess we were right about all four of them being over here. But Tomoe's reading is much weaker than yesterday. The others seem pretty weak too. We need to get them out of here. I was hoping this wouldn't be the case. We better hurry. Then why don't we split up into two teams? That way, each team can save two of the girls. Hmm. 
There are two forks to the path here, but it seems like they come together again further down. If we do like Yukiko-senpai says, we should be able to meet up there. That takes care of that. Okay, Risa is a pro, and Yu's already won once with his dancing, so they should be on different teams. In that case, me and Naoto go with Risei. Might as well just split up at what year we're in, yeah? Uh, I guess that's fine. I just wasn't expecting that from you. <laughs> We've actually been talking. Like, we can't keep relying on our senpai forever, you know? That's correct. We thought we should find our own way of working that suits us. I hadn't expected to put it to the test here, but it would be a good opportunity. I'll support Kanji-kun's proposal as well. Whoa! You guys have been thinking about this a lot, huh? <laughs> I bet you guys never knew we talked about stuff like that. If you keep treating us like kids, we'll surpass you before you know it. That sounds like a great idea. I'm with Kanji on this one, too. All right. Let's make it a competition. We'll see which team can rescue these girls faster. Bring it on. Hey, what about me? Which team am I on? You're coming with us. If they had five on their team and we only had three, that wouldn't be fair, would it? Oh, I'm getting fired up! The time has come for me to overcome the great wall that is Sensei and fly out into the vast world beyond! Fly away from Juness first, will ya? Anyway, we'll each rescue two girls then meet up at the rendezvous point, okay? I'll make sure to keep an eye on you guys, and if anything happens on our end, I'll let you know with my persona. I hope you don't mind us going on ahead. We'll see you in a bit. Senpai! You better not let your guard down and get your asses handed to you by some weird thing. Did they just totally steal the spotlight? Wow! They've all grown up before we knew it. I felt like I was watching them leave the nest for the first time. Yukiko, you sound like my mom. We should hurry, too. We need to save Tomoe-san and Tamami-san as fast as we can. All right, then. Third-year investigation team? You guys ready to go? Yes. Yeah. You bet. <laughs> <laughs> 